Self-help has gone too far. It's aggressive. The internet is inundated, drowning in self-help articles. They're starting to sound a lot like the covers of magazines like Self or Cosmo. It's just overplayed and cheesy. It's too much. We need a pause from self-help. And that's why I'm on my soapbox, sharing about why I'm so over self-help. I'm Krista Mineo, and you're watching The Pop Fix. Articles have titles like How I Manifested the Partner Joy and Life I've Always Wanted, or The Cure for Money Madness, or The Simplest Meditation Ever, How I Lost Weight Without Dieting. That could also be on the cover of Self. Five Essential Steps to Reduce Anxiety. Oh, so there's just five steps to totally change how your mind works? Great. 65 ways to be happy. Right. One simple step to eliminate sugar cravings. Because sugar cravings are easy to just stop thinking about. Ben and Jerry, when they call, just, I have this one step I read. No. 87 steps to love yourself. Sweet goodness, I lost you at step seven. 16 days to a new you. Yes, completely transform your life, emotionally, physically, and spiritually in 16 days. <laughs> what? Three ways to forgive yourself. Okay, if you have trauma going back to your childhood, pretty sure one article's not gonna change everything about you. 15 things mentally strong people do, so everyone that doesn't do those things is mentally weak. Three ways to get more from your core. Over it. The key to soulful sex. That's pretty much the spiritual version of a Cosmo article. Cosmo from the Cosmos. Five reasons to follow your heart. Really? There are only five reasons? How about your whole life should be based on that? Eight weight loss tips. Okay. Five questions to ask before you let go of a friendship. I might actually read that one. Surrender to the relationship, but don't lose yourself in the relationship. What the fuck does that mean? Enough! The basic point to all of this is that the self-help industry has caught on to the same marketing as Self Magazine and Cosmo and Glamour and every other magazine. Six tips for a sexy night, eight days to reduce your muffin top, 15 ways to say I love you without saying I love you. We get it. There's a number of everything. Yes, people love to know how much they're getting, but it's all the same marketing bullshit. Delete, delete, delete. All these articles need to be deleted from the inbox. Transformation is hard. It's emotionally exhausting and painful. It requires contemplation and being alone. Reducing anxiety takes therapy and thoughtfulness, not six days and a high five. Self-help stuff is minimizing the importance of the journey. Life is fucking weird. Stuff happens every day. You can't fix it in eight simple ways. It's a matter of learning to live and love within the craziness of life. But unfortunately, you can't find that in an article. I'll admit, I got super into it for a while. I was and still am subscribed to probably 10 self-help blogs. Anything from vegan lifestyle to the daily love to money blogs, everything. But now I just delete them. I end up spending more time reading blogs than I did living life, hoping to find an answer in an article. The truth is, the answer is in living life, being present for myself and others, learning to quiet the little asshole that hangs out in my head and has negative thoughts. It's a bummer, but an article can't provide healing. It can provide inspiration, but the healing comes from a challenging inner journey to self-love. It's a daily process, not a blog post and six easy steps. I've even noticed that bloggers are over their own self-help blogs. A couple have recently said that the blogs are just too much and they need a break. They need to step back and start living their own lives. Yup, stop blogging. Please, let people live their lives too. It's almost like blogs have a hold on people. The bloggers become kind of a guru. So instead of people looking within for answers, they end up looking at the bloggers for answers. It's kind of weird, actually. I don't know, what do you think about self-help? Are you into it? Over it? Leave a comment below and let us know. Subscribe to The Pop Fix for more videos. I'm Krista Mineo, and until next time, what's your fix?